All new tonight, a major disappointment for a group of teenagers who took on the company behind the TD Garden to help build a local ice rink. At least that was the plan. The teens raised millions of dollars for that project. And they discovered the owners of the garden had not followed through on a promise to hold three fundraisers a year for community projects. But as WBZ's Christina Hager shows us, it just wasn't enough. Shane Clinton says it's a lesson he never could have picked up in a classroom. The thrill of surpassing a dream and then watching it slip away. We literally spent hours planning and strategizing our tactics and what we should do. And now that we're realizing that's not happening, it's, it's disheartening. Plans for an urban community center in this Jamaica Plain parking lot going up in smoke. Years ago, Clinton and fellow high schoolers teamed up with the Hyde Square Task Force, rallying at the State House and City Hall. Through some impressive detective work, they found a corporate giant in Boston. The company that runs the TD Garden had ignored parts of its agreement with the state. The garden was then forced to make good on its decades-old promise to raise money for local community centers. The group planned a two-story Jackson Square Center that would have included an ice rink. The group convinced the TD Garden to pay $1.65 million. The state had pledged more than $6 million, and the city threw in another couple million. And in a few years, the fund totaled about $17 million. But the development agency behind the project, Urban Edge, is now pulling the plug. When we looked at the cost to build a recreational facility, most recently the cost came back at over $50 million. Was it a waste of time or did you walk away with some important lessons here? It definitely was not a waste of time. You just need to sit down and re-strategize and find another tactic to get this thing running up again. A lesson in winning becomes a lesson in perseverance. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News.